to be talking to you about birds. Birds belong to the phylum Chordata, subphylum Vertebrata, and class Aves. Aves is Latin for birds. Some characteristics of birds is that they are endothermic, which means they control body temperature by internal homeostatic mechanisms. Birds have a bony beak, no teeth, and a large muscular stomach. They are bipedal, which means they use only two legs for walking. They lay large amniotic eggs. Birds have strong, lightweight skeleton, hollow bones, and feathers and wings. The body plan of a bird is that they have a brain, lungs, a heart, a stomach, gizzards, an air sac, intestines, a cloaca, a liver, and a crop. A bird has bilateral symmetry, which means that if you cut it in half, it'll look exactly the same on both sides. The bird skeleton is highly adapted for flight and is extremely lightweight. Most birds have approximately 175 different muscles, mainly controlling the wings, skin, and legs. Birds also lack teeth, or even a true jaw, instead having a beak. Birds eat a great deal. Their diets are varied and often include nectar, fruit, plants, seeds, carrion, and various small animals, including other birds. They take in water through their beaks and tip their heads back to swallow. Birds release waste through the cloaca. They combine excretion and defecation into one dropping, making it a combination of black defecation and white, uric acid from excretion components. Flight is the main mode of movement used by most of the world's bird species. Flight assists birds while feeding, breeding, avoiding predators, and migrating. here of bird waste. This here is a perfect example of defecation, which is the black one. And this here is a perfect example of uric acid, which is produced from excretion. I have found three prime examples of birds living in this tree. This right here is a blue jay. You can tell that it's a blue jay by its signature blue feathers. This right here is an eagle. You can tell that it's an eagle because of its unmistakable complexion. And um, this right here is a cardinal. Um, you can tell that it's a cardinal because of its signature red feathers. I have found many more examples of birds out here in the wild. For example, this here is a flamingo. You can tell that it is a flamingo because of its pink feathers and large beak. This over here is a rare blue macaw. You can tell that it is a blue macaw because of its beak shape and its blue feathers. This is a pelican. You can tell it is a pelican because of its large beak, and it uses that beak to scoop up fish and water. This over here is a penguin. Penguins are fundamentally different from other birds because they are flightless. And that over there is an angry bird, and it's very moody. Ah! Oh, um, yes, and cats are very big predators. 